Hello YouTube, it's Austin Holloman and I already recorded this video in Portuguese earlier but I want to put it in English because I can come off a lot more genuine in English and Portuguese. But let me say this, if you speak Portuguese, do not watch this video first, watch the Portuguese version first because a lot of people that, and the reason that a lot of this is going on is because a lot of people in Brazil are misinterpreting uh, the things that I'm saying in English and they don't really know how to speak English that well and they they're misinterpreting a lot of things because I don't say anything negative about Brazilians so it's that's why it's so shocking to me to have this going on but if you guys that haven't known me already I'm Austin Holloman I want to say that first this is very heartbreaking to me the fact that uh, it was always my dream to live in Brazil and my YouTube channel was centered around me showing other men not just the women but just if you if you guys understand English and you watch my videos you see me talk about how I enjoy just, first of all, we can start with just the drinks on how well the drinks are in Brazil. I love the drinks in Brazil over any other country I've been to, even my home country. The food is a lot more healthy. I have a lot more energy. My skin glows a lot better in Brazil. Everything about me is better in Brazil. The weather, the beaches, the people are so social. I can be myself in Brazil. I can, I actually feel I can be myself and not be judged by everybody I run into. And that's why I made this video in English, because I can elaborate more than I could in Portuguese. But I'm, I'm very heartbroken knowing that because this whole situation is going on that even, let's say, for example, I'm not banned to come in Brazil. Since my name has been slandered around and uh, misinformed to the majority of the people, well, it seems like the majority of Brazil, but a lot of people in Brazil, it's not safe even if I wanted to come back. You know, if I if I wanted to come back to stay in Brazil, it wouldn't be safe because my name has been slandered and everybody's been geared to hate me to think that I'm some sort of sex tourist that's telling men that, oh, Brazilian women, and I'm not saying this because I know some of y'all still gonna watch this English version first and misinterpret it. I am not saying Brazilian women are easy for everybody. What I meant by when I said <clears throat> that Brazilian women are easy, and I shouldn't use the word easy, I know that now. I know that now, I'm sorry. But what I'm saying is, for a man that's well-mannered, well-dressed, that has put in the effort to, to raise himself, he will have an easier time in Brazil as opposed to where I was from, that wasn't always the case. But, to get into the video, I wanna apologize for releasing these videos and showing ignorance to the culture that you guys, certain aspects of Brazilian culture. Uh, I know that I'm, I'm not, I don't, I shouldn't expect y'all to forgive me, but I'm asking if you forgive me because I am a gringo or an American in Brazil. I've only stayed there three months. I've been there a total of four months in the past year. And I am still learning Brazilian culture. The things that I did, I didn't know that they were wrong. I know now, I very well know now. And uh, I wanted to apologize for, you know, I guess moving too comfortably without actually knowing, you know, I, I should have had a, a Brazilian man or a Brazilian woman tell me, you know, I should have reviewed, I should have reviewed with someone from the culture to see if that was fine, but I know now. Uh, my intent was never to promote sex trafficking, sex tourism, or exploitation of women. Uh, it, my my original intent and still my intent was for men, like I said, that have worked on themselves, that cannot find what they want in their home country, in this case, the United States. I w my message was that, hey, women in Brazil still appreciate and will still, uh, you know, value the work that you've done on yourself and you'll find a fulfilling relationship in this country. It wasn't about, oh, come through here and run to women. Uh, <clears throat> And I think the, the misconception was whenever I had the video where the woman said that she would kiss me right away and I was like, oh, come get your passport. What I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, come through here and just run through women. In my country, women do not behave the same way. And it's not that women in Brazil have a, behave a bad way. If they behave badly, I wouldn't have came down here. I, believe, I really love the way how Brazilian women act. And the fact that Brazilian women don't withhold affection for men and they're not afraid to make themselves vulnerable, I think it's very valuable to American men and a lot of American men that are looking for serious relationships, 
that I think that's beneficial. I, I don't think that a, a man gets any benefit, uh, any benefits out of a woman not even wanting to kiss him, but she claims that she likes him, and that's very common in my country, and that's not common in Brazil. And that was my whole point of me promoting that. But I would I would never promote any of those things because I love Brazil. I didn't want to have to say goodbye to Brazil, but I I. I that was not my intent. I would not talk poorly about the women in another country that I'm staying in. That's not very intelligent of me to do that. That's why I think there was a misconception. Now, during my time in Brazil, I really grew to see the affection and good nature of the people in Brazil and the Brazilian women. Like I said, Brazilian people in general are just very warm people. Where I came from, it. I told you guys before, I cried on the way home on the first uh, trip to Brazil last February during Carnival. And it was because I was around people that were just very welcoming. It, I, felt, I feel very at home with almost every Brazilian I meet. I, have, I, don't, I can count on one hand, uh, maybe one or two people in Brazil out of the four months in total almost I've been living there that were rude to me. And in the United States, I can I can run out of hands to count on how many people were rude to me. So there's definitely a huge difference. That's why I left everything in the States and came to Brazil, because it was really that much of a, a, a great deal for me. I really love it here. Um, and I just wanted to share it on my YouTube channel. Like I said, I want to influence other men to if they feel like they've worked on themselves. And I, I tell men that you cannot come to Brazil super fat, no hygiene no money you you can't be a, a a nobody and come to brazil i've made that clear hundreds of times on my channel i've made that clear uh but i chose to make the channel so i people could learn i'm learning about brazil i'm learning what it's like to live in brazil and this is a learning lesson that i'm going through and hopefully men in the future know not to do what i did and i was willing to make myself vulnerable to prevent other americans from coming to brazil you know, had with a very ignorant mindset. So I was willing to take the blame for that. Uh, not that I did any of this on purpose. I'm just saying I was willing to show my experiences of learning, of living in Brazil firsthand publicly to just help other Americans know what to do and what not to do when they come down here. But I enjoyed my time in Brazil. I always spoke very positively about it and I will limit how many videos I speak on Brazilian women because I never said anything negative about Brazilian women, uh, but I can see that pretty much anything that I say about Brazilian women now can be twisted. So I don't even think it's safe for me to even speak on them. I don't even think I should say the word Brazilian woman anymore. You know, it's just, it doesn't feel safe. So I think I'm just better off just showing the food and the streets and, you know, parties and stuff, but I, and, you know, beaches, but I don't think it's safe for me to even talk about Brazilian women. If I do to a very minimal, Moita Pequeno, Moita Pequeno Vezes, or Menos Vezes. Um, and also, I don't want to record any Brazilian women because at any moment, you know, they can change their mind and say, hey, you know, I didn't, I didn't want, you know, to be on video. I didn't want to be on your YouTube, but I, I can promise you, I would never just walk up to a woman and just record her and say, answer this question, answer this question. I would never do that. I would never do that. That's dumb. I always ask them, hey, can I ask you a question? I have a YouTube channel. They say yes. They answer the question. I post a video. Then they say, I didn't know you were going to put me on the YouTube channel. So I think it's better that I just don't record at all. Unless if I just really, really know them. Or if I pay them to be on the video. Because it's, 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 it's too inconvenient for her and I to be on. Like... For example, in Perilino, there's the, the Bayanas with the, the big vestitas on, the big dresses, I don't know what they call them. And, you know, she, it's in a tourist zone. And we took a picture with her. I think she took a picture with all three of us three different times. And apparently she ran up on somebody I know in Brazil. And she said that she's going to contact a lawyer because she didn't know that that picture was taken. And it, uh, she looked right in the camera and took the picture three times. And, you know, I, I just don't, that's just an extra problem. And I don't want any problems in Brazil. So I think it's just better I don't take any pictures. But I did make a mistake and I apologize because I showcase the women way. I, 
I think where people are getting sex tourism from is because I show it seems like I'm only show, which I didn't only, but I can agree that 90, 95% of the time I showcased women. Uh, because that's just, I mean, Brazilian women are great. They're beautiful. They're nice people. I That's why I showcase them that much. But I, I would agree that I did do that too much. I could have showed more of the food in the streets and the beaches and how to get your bank account and ID. Uh, I still was going to make a video about how America can get a bank account, but I don't think I can do that anymore. But I would have been better off showing off my journey rather than just women. So... And I would, you know, that's pretty much wrapping up what I have to say. This is longer than my Portuguese version because I can elaborate in English, like I said. But I would also like to say that on several occasions, I tried to reach out to her name, I believe, is Stephanie, uh, which is the woman on Instagram and Twitter uh, that has been blasting my posts and tagging the U.S. Embassy and the Federal, uh, Policia Federal and all these other big names and stuff like that. And I asked her. And I have the photos. I asked her, could I come to her platform? Because she's, I told her, okay, look, I, I get it. What do I need to do to, to stop this? Because this is getting out of hand. And she said, apologize. I said, could I? And I emailed her and I messaged her on Instagram. I said, can I come to your platform? Since your platform is the one catching all the attention, you have more Brazilian followers than I do. If I do it on my platform, it's pretty much all Americans almost is going to see it. 1.7% of my audience, I believe, is Brazilian. So it's not going to make a difference if I do it on my platform. I asked her, can I go to your platform and apologize publicly so we can get this, you know, and so I can at least have the people can hear me say my perspective and the truth. Unfortunately, uh, those requests were rejected and denied. And I, I have photos where she didn't respond to that. She would respond to a different text, but she didn't respond to that text that oh you know she so she's pretty much not gonna let me respond from what i can understand and i think she's trying to make me a target which she's successfully doing that in brazil and uh she even said it right here in this photo in that photo she's saying basically she wants me to be a target and that she wants to kill me uh have me kill kill me i don't know whichever one but she said it right there and I, I think that's why she doesn't want me to apologize because she has her mind made up that she wants me dead and I don't I, I, I really don't know so I just took it upon myself to make this video to speak up for myself even though less than 2% of my audience is Brazilian I at least want to show effort and apologize again that I had no negative intent uh, on giving I mean I had no negative intent on placing a negative perception on Brazil. I had no intent on placing a negative perception of Brazil or the culture or anything, the beaches, anything, the people, anybody. I love Brazil. Uh, I love living in Brazil. I get it. People don't want me there now. They think that I disrespect them. I mean, even even the women, you know, I did know in Brazil. Uh, you know, we knew each other for months and because Stephanie posts these videos and her perspective on how she views the videos the women that i've been nice to and respected for months all of a sudden don't like me anymore so i don't know you know i, I guess they don't they just go off whatever she says but i'm just here to say that i'm apologizing and uh yeah i mean however you want to take it i'm sorry for posting the videos i've already taken the videos down uh, i won't do it again but yeah i appreciate you uh, watching the video thank you very much